Uh, we have here with us today the president of the Free Safety Project, Carla Garrick. She has some words to say. So, a warm round of applause. My medicine might have kicked in. <laughs> uh, Bill D is a pretty hard act to follow. <laughs> he was uh, actually also the first local I ever met in New Hampshire. It was in 2008. My husband and I moved from New York City. We put our rescued dog in a car and we drove out here. It was 2008 when Ron Paul was kind of surging where I think many people here started to hear the ideas of liberty, started to understand what principles look like. And I think at the heart of it, and tonight I'm just gonna speak from my heart because I didn't really prepare a speech and the first part says, welcome, so excite. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Bill and Gail were at T Murphy's Tap Room, which is a very successful business that is owned by a free stater, Keith Murphy, who is also a free state elected representative, uh, free stater, I should say, and uh, it was a blizzard. And there were four of us, and we had a lot of beers, and we bonded. And the beauty of that, and the reason I'm bringing it up, is because that is what we're doing. We're actually building a network of people, right? And yes, it's easy to get up in the, caught up in the numbers. Uh, I would say predominantly most people here are kind of numbers people. <laughs> I'm not. I actually think that's how we complement each other because I saw a picture in my head and I came here and I saw what we were doing and what we could accomplish if we just actually stood together. If we actually said, you know what? Our ideas aren't that crazy. We believe in peace. We believe in prosperity. We believe in making everyone's lives better. We just don't agree with the way it's being done. So we're saying if we bandy together, we can change things and we don't initially have to change the world. Initially, all we have to do is create a movement that brings enough people here where we can actually prove that what we're doing matters. And that it not only matters, but that it's moral and that it's a good way to live your life. Live and let live and let people alone. We shouldn't be bombing people in foreign countries. We shouldn't be hurting people because they like to smoke a plant. We should just allow people to be and to be free. know me for a while knows that this journey has also been a personal journey for me. I am terrified of public speaking. I'm a great writer, but somehow when I write, it's great, and when I public speak, I wing it. <laughs> and over the years, and it's been five years, I've sort of figured out, you know, sometimes you got to pay attention. So, <laughs> well, I mean, I pay a lot of attention, I'm OCD, but, you know, like, oh, don't do the things, don't not do the things you're afraid of, and that's been my personal journey. And I think for every mover here, that's an experience that we share. Moving someplace for your beliefs is a hard thing to ask people to do. But it's also a noble thing to do. And when you move here, you are being noble. And you're actually deciding, you're making a choice to for yourself and your friends and colleagues and network to build a be better future. So I actually wrote a speech for tomorrow. I don't want to steal anyone's thunder. But if you are around and you're free tomorrow, I would like to invite everyone here who really, to me, do feel like family, to come to our press conference. It'll be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at the Radisson. Um, it's up on the mezzanine. And 
Carrie, my PR lady, will tell me to tell everyone, look good. But come, <laughs> come, come with your stories. Come with what you're doing and what you're passionate about. Because even though we are a family, we're also a family of individuals. We're a family of voices. We're a family of be yourself because nobody else wants the job, right? We are people who agree on an idea but want to do it in different ways. So whether you vote or don't want vote, this is a really, really exciting time to be in New Hampshire. Of course, we have the primaries coming up. That's going to be awesome. And more awesome or more interesting or more better for me is how many new movers do we have here tonight? I know there's some. I see one <laughs> with the camera. Two. There we go. So we have two new movers who are coming in at a time that is critical. And every mover counts. Like every single person here counts so hard. And so it's been a long journey to 19,999. <laughs> but right now, I want to say we're the hundred percent. I know I'm going to forget about this over the next few weeks. Truly, 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 from the bottom of my heart, thank you for believing in liberty. Thank you for doing your part. Thank you for moving. Let's bring more movers in. The number is gone. It doesn't matter. Now it matters about who is here, who is doing things, who's running for office, who's, you know, ha baking our breads, who's doing what, uh, minting our silver, doing our Bitcoin transactions. Do what you're passionate about, but let's build the new future together. Hey.